Well, hello YouTube. It's been a while. I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas. I did. It was pretty good. Spent time with some family. Some much needed time. I haven't spent with some family in a long time. It was so good. But anyway, I'm going to spin you around and let you see what's going on with Paco. Paco's gotten so mean. I think I've told you that. Well, there you go. Hey, Paco. Come here, boy. Paco is a loner right now because Fresca is broody. And she is in there sitting on one egg. She's been sitting for three days now. So we're going to have a little baby Paco. <laughs> Hopefully it won't be a rooster. Hopefully it'll be a girl. We don't need any more of Paco's. We let him go in with the big pin today with the big girls. He had a blast. Even though they're bigger than him, nobody picked on him. In fact, they were all grooming him. They came up and was cleaning him and checking him out. And they were like, oh, you're cute. I mean, they see him every day through the fence. Because he just lives right next door to him. Over here. And they just loved having a visit with Paco. There's Black Betty right there. She even let Paco have her his way with her. <laughs> Paco has gotten so mean, though. If I get up and walk by him... Pardon my Mickey Mouse blanket. Trying to keep him warm during the winter. I know it's not the best, but it'll do. It works. And it was free. But anyway, if I walk by him, he will chase my feet. And right now I'm wearing flip-flops, so I don't feel like dealing with that. Usually I'll put on my boots to come out here. Because I know he's going to go after my legs. He will chase me. <laughs> he doesn't chase Dad too much because uh, Don will pick him up. So he doesn't mess with him too much. He plays, but look at him. He's so cute. But anyway, I have some great news. I have some cauliflower growing. I went around there the other day, and there was two heads of cauliflower, and now there's three. I was so excited. Eh, I planted them kind of close together. First time I ever grew cauliflower, but next time I will be ready for it. But anyway, there's nothing really going on major here. I've got a couple weeks off from work. Hallelujah for the uh, Christmas break. Don, he's got tomorrow off. Tomorrow's Monday, the 27th. So he's got tomorrow off. Look at this. This is the loop of vine. It left a lot of vine behind. I'm just going to leave it and let it rot into the ground. It's good compost. And I got a few. I can't remember. I think these are broccoli. <laughs> I mean, I planted so many things in there. I don't. And I've never grown broccoli. Well, it's been years since I grew broccoli, so I don't remember what it looks like. But over there I have carrots all bunched up together. Some more lettuce. And cilantro. Cilantro's coming up everywhere. Lots of cilantro. I love cilantro. It's so good with tacos. So good with any kind of Spanish dish. And then I have my um, nasturtiums. And I don't know if you know, know it or not, but you can eat nasturtiums. So I put them in my salad. And there's my butterfly pea with the beautiful purple flowers. I have to put this net up here to keep Paco out of here. Him and Fresco, they will come in here and chew up all these little seedlings. So I have to keep it blocked. And we had to put up a fence all the way across the patio to keep Copper and Penny out because they were going and destroying everything. But here's my cabbage and my cauliflower. Let me get over here so I can show you my little head of cauliflower. I'm so excited. It's not the best growing situation, but hey, it works for me. There's one. Isn't it cute? There's... Oh, no, not there. Where is it? I thought it was right there. Oh, gosh. I hope nothing ate it. Hmm. Let me see, because I know there was one there. Where is... There it is. It's in there. Way down in there. And then there is another one. Right... Here, there's one down in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And these are cabbages. And yeah, they're planted too close together. But I think they'll be okay. And Don, he's been holding out on me. He had this weed tool, weeding tool. Look at that in there. Look at them. Sweet potatoes. 
and mint. <laughs> wow, I didn't know there was mint over there like that. I need to get some of that, put it in my salads. Sweet potatoes and uh, yellow beans, wax beans. But anyway, Don's been holding out on me. He's got this weeding tool that I was like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest invention. That little weeding tool right there. That thing is awesome. I'm so glad I discovered it. I, I saw it on uh, YouTube the other day. Somebody was using one. And I said, man, I wish I had one of those. He says, we got one. We've had one for years. I'm like, what? Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to see this mint growing over here in this greenhouse. Y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.